Here, joining me now for another edition of Coach's Corners, head coach of the NAHL Knights, and that's Tom Kowal. And coach, you guys are coming off two games over the weekend against the Titans. You have another one tomorrow on Tuesday, so a little, little bit of a tight schedule here this week. Uh, but as you look back on this past weekend, obviously you had a great night Friday night, put up eight goals and only allowed one, and then it was kind of a, a flip of sorts the next day, uh, seeing five goals put up against you and only one on the board for your side. So. Uh, what uh, what changed in those 24 hours? Do you think uh, that you know just kind of saw the tables turn that quickly? You know, I mean, the 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 last time we played New Jersey, in, we scored seven goals, mm -hmm. and then we on Friday night we scored eight goals. So you knew sooner or later, you know, hey, the puck was just bouncing our way. But you know what? It was just I mean, hey, we I think we got away from our stuff a little bit Saturday night. I mean, we had chances to put up five or six. You know, and their their goal played real well. You know what I mean? And I'm sure their goalie's trying to fight for a spot because, you know, they have one goalie that's playing more than the other games. And I'm sure this goalie's looking to come in and try and show he can handle it too. So, you know, we, we went up against some tough odds on Saturday night. But at the end of the day, you know, we, you know, hopefully we learn from it. And hopefully we, uh, we can see the difference between the efforts we had Friday night compared to how we played Saturday night and the success we had one night compared to the success we had the other night. But, uh, you know, right now, I think, hey, these guys are, you know, it's been a long year. It's been a real long year, and I, I think these guys, I mean, from the staff all the way down, I mean, they've, you know, they've been working hard. You know, we just, uh, you know, when when you're in a great league like the North American League, when you give 90% and not 100, you know, you lose 5-1. So, you know, going forward, I think it's, uh, you know, we're, the guys are looking good. We had a good practice today, and uh, hopefully we go into our last two regular season games with a little bit of jump. Now, you mentioned Chump there, and you already touched on it, but you guys still put up about 90 shots between those two games. We talked about eight goals on Friday, yeah, just the one on, on uh, Saturday, but again, not for lack of chances. Uh, it was especially apparent up in the, the press box over there that your line of uh, Bronte between Danchenko and Engelkiss was clicking. They were forcing a lot of turnovers, especially on Friday night, and turned them into odd man rushes. And then Olmstead with uh, Morrissey and Gillette seemed to be doing the same. Um, you know, obviously, unfortunately, Mike got hurt there at the end of the second game. Uh, but what did you like from your, not just those two lines, but your forwards in general? You know, our, our forwards have been playing a little jump. I mean, we've been really, you know, emphasizing as a staff to get up and go. You know, we, you know, we, 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 you know, are not looking to try and not hit anybody. But our game isn't to go rough and tough and fight and, mm -hmm. and throw the big, and, you know, lead the, lead the hits. We, our, our game is to lead with shots and, you know, and, and embarrass some pucks. So. You know, when we're uh, having a good night, we're going to bury eight. When uh, we're having a tough night, we're going to bury one. So I'm um, very happy with, you know, we're, it's getting down after you play 58 games, Tim. You, you know, you, <clears throat> I've been playing with a few lines the last couple of weeks, and you know, at the end of the day, I'm looking for the great combinations. Not only the one, two, three punch, but who's going to play the four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, you know, and 10, 11, 12. You know, I mean, it's, it's playoff hockey in two weeks. You know, we have two more games to prepare and try some things to the staff, but ultimately, you know, I think you said, you know, even the people up in the press box can tell. I think I find a few line combinations that are uh, looking pretty good to, to start uh, playoffs with. Right. Uh, now, again, from the blue line, you guys have been dealing with some injuries. We saw uh, some players, again, step up and, and, you know, perform relatively well, at least on Friday night. And then, yeah, again, Saturday was a little bit different. But, uh, you know, moving forward, do uh, you expect some of those guys that have been out to come back here before you get ready for the postseason push? Well, we got, we got Jeffrey Bertrand coming in um, next Monday. And uh, he's a player that's played, I think, five, five games yeah. so far. Um, and so, we're, you know, we're, he's going to be coming, you know, his, his youth season came off. I mean, he's committed to Penn State. We're looking for him to kind of come in and, and play that in you know, our third, fourth line, kind of a, can jump up and play maybe one or two shifts. Um, you know, obviously we have, uh, you know, Jabshin's another uh, mm -hmm. another defenseman that we've added to our roster for playoffs. Um, you know, he went from the affiliate up onto our uh, regular roster for playoffs. You know, it's, I like what I got, you know what I mean? But it's, it's also a great feeling as a staff knowing that if something goes wrong or someone gets hurt, we have uh, players that have experience and have been around our guys, been in practice, been in some games. So, you know, playoff hockey's tough sometimes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, injuries are going to happen for somebody. Let's just hope they're not us. But if they are the Wilkes-Barre Knights, 
we want to have a backup plan and be prepared to, you know, put some players into our lineup when the, you know, when it's winner go home situations and it's not their first or second game and they don't know our teammates and they feel uncomfortable in the locker room. So we uh, we really pride ourselves on on being a, the Knights family and you know one big kingdom here. And at the end of the day, we want everyone to feel part of our team that's uh, you know in our locker room and got to go on the ice with us. And then this week is touched on at the very beginning, but very unique in that you have two games in the middle of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and one of them is a pickup where the game left off from earlier in the year as a postponed game. Uh, you guys down 2 nothing in that game. Does that uh, change a little bit the approach, or is it just the same approach, same message to the guys for every game, you know, just going out there well, despite the circumstances? Well, four points is separating second to fourth yeah. place in our division right now. So, you know, I mean, I, I you know, and this is when you kind of, as a staff, we talk and, and go, you know, I mean, hey, we our last game is Wednesday regardless. You know, I mean, we have a week and a half of break. So it's not like some of these other teams that are playing Friday, Saturday. You know, we have an extra two or three days of uh, a rest. So, you know, right now we're, we're going to New Jersey as to, you know, get back second place, you know, and we're one point out of second. And, you know, I mean, home ice would be nice for the playoffs. But at the end of the day, you know, I mean, we're just going for our best finish. Um, you know, yes. You know, maybe a little bit, some decisions, depending on how the week goes, will be made throughout the games. But at the end of the day, we're, we're going to win. You know, I mean, we, we've got fourth place the last two years. You know, um, you know, I really, we really targeted this year as a year that we're going to move up in the standings. And, uh, you know, even if we get third, you know, I mean, it's, a, it's an improvement. And, uh, you know, and personally, I'm, uh, I'm sick of seeing the Red Wars the first, the first yeah. round. But you know what? At the end of the day, if they got first place and you're going to beat the best, you know, it doesn't matter if it's first round or second round. I mean, you know, our mentality as a staff right now and we're preparing this team is worry about us. Yeah. And whoever gets on the ice with us first game of playoffs, you know, let's uh, make sure they, we, we make them pay to, you know, they got the unlucky draw, they got the Knights, and we want to go in playing the best hockey we can play no matter who we're playing against. The Knights will close out the regular season with the game tomorrow night in New Jersey, 7 p.m. Eastern, and then a final game on Wednesday against the Rebels. Again, a pickup where the game left off earlier in the season. But, Coach, we, uh, we thank you here for a couple minutes, and we wish you guys the best of the luck uh, to close out the last two games. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it.